the best and only safe road to honor, glory, and true dignity is justice. 54. Few men have virtue to withstand the highest bidder. 55. I hope I shall possess firmness and virtue enough to maintain what I consider the most enviable of all titles, the character of an honest man. 56. Government is not reason, it is not eloquence, it is force like fire, a troublesome servant and a fearful master. 57. Let your heart feel for the afflictions and distress of everyone and let your hand give in proportion to your purse. 58. There is nothing which can better deserve your patronage, than the promotion of science and literature. Knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness. 59. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore His protection and favors. 60. It is far better to be alone, than to be in bad company. 61. When we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. 62. Associate yourself with men of good quality. If you esteem your own reputation for tis better to be alone than in bad company. 63. The constitution is the chief point of my political compass. 64. Arbitrary power is most easily established on the ruins of liberty abused to licentiousness. 65. If freedom of speech is taken away then dumb and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. 66. The bosom of America is open to receive not only the opulent and respected stranger, but the oppressed and persecuted of all nations and religions whom we shall welcome to a participation of all our rights and privileges. 67. Happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. 68. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. 69. I have often expressed my sentiments that every man, conducting himself as a good citizen, and being accountable to God alone for his religious opinions, ought to be protected in worshipping the deity according to the dictates of his own conscience. 70. I can only say that there is not a man living who wishes more sincerely than I do to see a plan adopted for the abolition of it. 71. The marvel of all history is the patience with which men and women submit to burdens unnecessarily laid upon them by their governments. 72. Be not glad at the misfortune of another, though he may be your enemy. 73. The preservation of the sacred fire of liberty and the destiny of the republican model of government are justly considered, perhaps, as deeply, as finally, staked on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. 74. To persevere in one's duty and be silent, is the best answer to calumny. 75. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. 76. I hope I shall possess firmness and virtue enough to maintain what I consider the most enviable of all titles, the character of an honest man.